The world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, launched himself and three other passengers into space this morning. Here is the liftoff right here. News 8's Tim Blodgett has the story from planet Earth. One. This morning, Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos blasted off into outer space, marking a major step in space tourism. Blue Origin, a company founded by Bezos 21 years ago, was finally a go to launch passengers into space on their unmanned rocket, New Shepard. The flight lasted around 10 minutes and flew over 66 miles into the sky. Amongst the crew was Bezos, his brother Mark, 82-year-old aviator Wally Funk, and Danish 18-year-old Oliver Damon, the youngest and oldest to have reached outer space. And I'll tell you right now, he nailed the mission. Jim Kidrick is the CEO of the San Diego Air and Space Museum and was watching the launch closely, his feet firmly planted on planet Earth. He says that after the successful Blue Origin launch, Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic space flight and Elon Musk's continued SpaceX launches, the future of commercial space travel looks bright. Not just the government, not just NASA. We really didn't expect there to be a space race amongst commercial uh, vehicles. Of course, space travel isn't cheap. Bezos, who has a net worth of over $200 billion, thanked Amazon customers and employees after the successful flight, drawing condemnation from lawmakers like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Elizabeth Warren. Still, those wealthy enough to do it will start relishing the idea of regular commercial space travel. These next 20 to 30 years are going to be crazy, and they're going to be crazy good. It's going to be wild. I think the cowboy hat is very appropriate because it is the Wild West. Tim Blodgett, News 8.